Hello everyone, and today, hello everyone, and today I'm doing a little tutorial video on Curse of the Christmas. <laughs> hello everyone, and today I'm doing a little tutorial video on Curse of the Christmas Culture. Now this is much harder to go on trophy because, well, I don't know the reason why it's so much harder. There's just a lot more enemies, and there's a lot more elite ones, and there's new enemies, and yeah. And if and if you're wondering why I'm not doing one of these Press videos the on Jumbo on the scoreboard to play. Coach. Hello everyone, and today I'm, do I'm doing a little tutorial video on Curse and the Christmas Cauldron. Now this is now this quest is much harder than going trophy. And I don't know the reason why there's just so much more enemies. The uh, we enemies, there's a lot more of them. New enemies and yeah. And, and if you're wondering why I'm not doing one of these videos on Jumbotron, is because my friend Fanta um, he already did one of these on Jumbotron, and credit to him for taking inspiration from me. And and I'll link his channel in the description below so you can go check him out. Definitely subscribe, he's a great person. And yeah, I guess I'll um, get straight into it. Alright, so again, my recommended weapon to use is the bow. Now, if you want to know how to double shot, go check out my other video on Golden Trophy. Or you can just go, to, um, go check out Bathia's channel for a double shot tutorial link in the description. And if do not use the ones, because one they're very really useful to fortify your teammates, and they're just not good in general. And you, and you can use a sword and shield if you want if you're a new player. And yeah, let's just get started. So on the first level, um, I like to go right. Then you get four uh, normal goblins and one artillery goblin. I like to take out the artillery goblin first, and then and then you these guys. And then when I'm done with them, I like to go back this way and take out all these guys. Um, we get one artillery goblin and then two shield guys. And and there's a chance that a um, elite flyer and a normal flyer will spawn. Like once you pass right here. Is there? No, it didn't spawn this time. Be careful for the big spawn. It's gonna be. Two artillery guys and a bunch of shield guys. I like to get the artillery guys first, and then all the shield guys are just gonna go like that. Okay. That's the first level done. Then on the second level, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get two go. I'm um, three normal goblins, and then like. Um, about two more are gonna spawn, and then two farmers. As well. There you go. Alright, now when you come up here, you're gonna get like at least five or six normal parts. No, it's hard. Not, not too hard. And what I like to do is I like to grab these double damage potions and then. And then I wait for them to spawn, then you drink it, then you just go crazy. Oh, I think I'm gonna do a little bit of like two little ones. Be careful about that. And then we're done with that part. And then when you get up to this part, you're gonna get like 10 goblins. Oh, no. And you just shoot them so you can go and take all of them. And then two holy ones. And then you get like a, no a, a normal. A, 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 a lot of normal goblins. Then you get. I'm um, set up a timer spawning with more. Oh, so it's already spawned. I hear bugs and leaks too. And the flyers. They're gonna get a little bit heavier here. Do I got these guys? Boom. Dead. Okay. Was that just me or did I just teleport? <laughs> Alright, so when you pass this line of right here, then you're gonna get like maybe 20 normal goblins to spawn. But not too hard. Then we're gonna get a couple of flyers. 
And then when you take care of them, once you pass those three mushrooms right there, you're gonna spawn, um, you're gonna spawn six flyers and six normal gamas back there. Then when you pass this, these mushrooms right here, you're gonna spawn a lot of flyers. I'll give you a couple of only flyers as well, so be careful. Hard. This might have to be my favorite level, maybe. I don't know. What I like to do, I like to aim for the explosion barrel right there. Kills all of them except for that guy. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get two artillery guys, by the way, and then more goblins. And just explode everything if I want to. Yeah. Oh yeah, you have the ham sword as well. It spawns right here on, the, on top of the fire. Okay. Not like the great double damage potion. Just kill everything. Just kill everything. So many enemies. I can see a bunch of enemies. Let's take care of all of them. Like, the dog's lost in a way. You can just go. So the next up is the witches. Why don't you do I mean, I mean just take a sword and then you just hit the purple thing. Just like that and it kills them. And you get five goblins that spawn up to kill those two like witches. And, and then there's a chance that one witch will spawn there and one witch will spawn there, so you're gonna be careful about that. Also, you can get the pods if you want. Oh, that's fine. Alright, I'm um, gonna go up here and get two artillery guys. Okay, but it's pretty hard to aim for. Alright, so let's, let's go up here to get three shield guys. And then, when you cross about right there, I'm gonna spawn in a bunch of gamas up here. Just careful about that. See, there you go. Okay, there's a wall of okay. Oh yeah, then you get like two shield guys. Easy to handle. Alright, now. Now once you, um, once you cross that little bridge there, you're gonna spawn like, maybe six fires. So careful about that. Oh, no, it's fire, sorry. I'm gonna get the normal gauntlet over here. I'm gonna kill all the elite ones. And you get witches. Yeah, these guys like to hide. And they just... Yeah, the witches are very tiny during like me. So... 
you can run the game. Then there's like a chance that that a, a, a barrel guy will spawn right in this hallway right here. But one didn't spawn for me, so that's good. I like to shoot that one. Oh, that barrel right there. Shoot. That, okay, good, that, uh, that artillery guy. Then you get two of weak goblins, so like maybe four normal goblins. And then there's two artillery guys up there. Wait, we're just gonna have to kill. We like to hide. I once you're done with them, I like to go in here. And then I like to shoot that guy in the back of the head. And then I just run all the way up to this tower right here. Or just gonna have to save. There's no fireball that can kill you, because there's no fires in this level. Yeah, this guy can just go like that. Is he? Is he enough for How is this guy not- <laughs> I saw his friends die. Anyways, I went to cross here. Just spawn in a whole bunch of goblins. I'm back over here. You can handle. I care if I was gonna be some over there too. Then some of them spawn over here. Some guys. Then a weak guy can spawn over here too. Yeah, it's gonna be elites as well. And there's gonna be two barrel guys too. Just be careful about them. Yeah, but I hear the barrel guys. Now again, the safest spot to be is up against the tower, or if, if you want to be risky, you can just stay in there if you want to. Oh, okay, don't fall like I almost did. We just need to take care of them very easily. There we go, you're done with that level. Now, what to do on this level, I like to walk and grab this wand right here. And just kill everything. Okay, this weapon is good for killing kind of groups of enemies. As you can see, I just took out literally all those fires in an instant. And we'll get a couple of problems as well. Yeah, also, you're gonna get two um, artillery guys all the way up there. You need quite good accuracy to kill them. So. Yeah. Die, please. I can't hit him. There we go. I'm gonna get another one. I'll go over there. Um. Now, once you get over here, you'll spawn in a whole bunch of fires onto your cross right here. Be, be very careful about them. Oh, yeah, then you get witches too. Alright, what I like to do is you don't need these floaties or anything. You don't need these at all. Right, what I like to do is I like to jump up here onto this rock right here. And then as long as you be careful, you can jump all the way over here. Now, uh, no, no, if you want to, you can destroy all the top. It's really satisfying with the sword. Now we need more floaties and there'll be some and there'll be some more in this little house here. So we just boom. Bam. Ah. Now once you go in here, you also want a, a artillery gun and three fires as well. I like to care um, I like to take care of the artillery guy first because he can really it's, it's very easy for him to hit you. Then you can kill the fighters. There you go. Now once you get up here, you have this ladder. You just go along here. Then once you go right there, you spawn in a whole bunch of enemies. Spawn in a whole bunch of fighters. So what I have to do, I have to go back over here. This is kind of the safe spot. Here we look at the fireballs. This is 
a ton of flyers in the servo for some reason. Because that's what Against Gravity decided to do. <laughs> Spam flyers. There you go. You're, you're gonna get put a real whole bunch of enemies, so be very careful about them. Alright. So, to kill everything, once you pass. Like this log right here, you can just spawn in witches, then you can just grab a sword, then you spawn in two of them, and then once you kill them, it'll spawn in more witches. If you're going to kill those witches, it'll spawn in more witches and two elite warriors. So be careful about that. Yep, see, there's two elite warriors and a, a lot of witches. I'll just kill the warriors first. Oh, the witches aren't as bad. So I'll be careful for them. That flyer is being mega annoying. Yes, I hit him. Alright, there you go. Then you can take care of the witches. Pretty easy. Easy stuff. Once you get to this last one. Boom. Okay, now. It may seem like you're done with the level, but you're really not. There's a little mini um, a little mini boss that'll spawn right there. Now to stand up top of here, you'll you'll spawn them in. You can see. Um, I like to run all the way back here and come back to the side house thing. And then you'll spawn then you'll spawn them in. And then you just shoot them. Yeah, careful when you shoot the fireballs at you. And the tentacles can't really kill you because they're artillery and they can't hit you from here. You just gotta shoot him until he dies. Pretty easy. Okay, here we go into the mines, which is probably the hardest bit of this whole game. Alright. So you gotta watch out for the smoke on this level, because that can kill you. So be very careful about that. Oh, it's good though, so you gotta look at how to fully kill all these artillery guys, so there's literally a million of them. There's gonna be like four fires. Oh, there he is. There you go. Alright, now once you get over here, you get four goblins. Easy stuff. I have to grab this potion and throw it down there. Both the other potions. It's a uh, arm both down there. Now once you cross this one, you get eight shield guys. Alright, now I'll have to deal with it. So, I always grab my potions, then drink it. Then we just spam the big guy just to kill us until they die. Careful to move around with the goblins and pull them through different directions. I like to go up here. I would save this spot, to be honest. Then we do cross here, we get a bunch of flyers. Or then that would be the elite ones. I'll have to quickly go back up here, because there's a lot of enemies in this part. Oh yeah, flyers, wait. What about you guys? Yeah, you get elite flyers too once you kill the normal flyers. Never about that. You get elite flyers. You get to get like two elite, elite flyers, I think. Yeah, you're also gonna get a whole bunch of normal goblins and two elite barrel guys. 
can see you, you, you can see their axe right there. It's a very hard to deal with. There you go. You done with the mines. Oh yeah. Again, be care be very careful about the smoke. So once you get to the deep mines, be care be very careful about the smoke. Don't go that that part down there. You just go along here because there's only one pipe of smoke. No. Accuracy comes in very... Accuracy comes in right here. Yep, there we go. Gotta shoot the barrel. Kills all of them. Very satisfying. You gotta wait for the smoke. And you can just cross. You got more smoke right here. Just cross. And boom, we made it. So you're gonna get a wee goblin right there. Just, just take care of him. Then you get two barrel guys right here. I'll just stand on top of this barrel right here, for some reason. Then you can try to take care of these guys. Yeah. Yeah, you're gonna get a whole bunch of goblins too. the barrels to my advantage. I'll just shoot that barrel and take care of the barrel guy. Boom. I like to shoot the two packs of barrels and shoot those guys. And take care of the artillery guys or the fireball guys for the on. Then you get one artillery guy right there. Be very careful about him. He's very sneaky. Then once you pass about right here, we got three shield guys. Then you just want a bunch of fireball guys. Don't worry about them. Hey, come on, get other spots to it. Oh, dude, that's a lot of fire guys. Alright, let's take care of the fires. You can get a bunch of normal weapons. One, one time over here, one time one over there, one time one over there. Easy to take care of all these guys. These guys are literally nothing. Very easy. Then you can get three barrel guys. I like to war them over here and then use the barrels to my advantage. What? No! This guy's a guy, dang it. There you go. Now we're gonna get a, literally a million of oh, we got ones all the way over there. Be very careful about these guys. So many fireballs. Oh, so many birds. So many. Alright, now you're done with that level. Alright, so once you get to the bell tower, you're gonna get two normal goblins, and a goblin, and three normal goblins up here, or down, or down here. Then you get two only goblins right up over there. You can shoot the barrels if you want, which I did. Alright, then when you go up here, you're gonna get. Um, at least, at least three elite goblins. I like to just shoot that barrel right there. It kills all of them. Then once you go over here, you'll spawn in a bunch of these guys. Then a bunch of fire. Then once you kill two of these goblins that spawn below you, um, it'll spawn in more fire. It's so beautiful. Fires. 
a weak fighter. There's gonna be a weak fighter right there. Then you're gonna get a bunch of a weak goblins to the way. I like to kill the fighters first. Alright, you're, you're done with that level. Then you go all the way up here. The ladder. Boom. Alright, so now you're on the boss. Uh, it isn't really a good strategy on the boss in my opinion. You really just gotta run around everywhere and kill everything. It's really hard. Spawning the box. You stay on top of this crate if you want. And then hit the purple stuff. Alright, then you're gonna get a couple of artillery problems. And you're gonna get more of them. Oh, geez. Okay, careful, 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 careful. Okay. Okay. Alright, I went to care of all of them. I'm gonna kill the I'm trying to kill the witch again. And this is gonna be much harder because it's gonna be a, a lot of elites and flyers. So, so be very careful. Getting so many flyers and witches on this level. He's so, 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 so careful in this part because look how many elites there are right now. First. There you go. Now you can take care of the witch. There you go. You're done. Everyone, I hope that little video helped. Um, help you beat this quest. Now, I, ho I hope you enjoyed and and credit to Fanta um, for taking inspiration from me and doing one of these on Jumbotron. And yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next one.